Sunlight. Welcome to Tommy Bikes Homestead. If you are new to my channel, y'all, please hit that red button and help me grow this channel. So today we are in the mountains of North Carolina um, at our other property, other homestead, where we have the animals. So we are here because we are about to do our meat chickens. <laughs> oh my God. Y'all ain't never did meat chickens in my life. <laughs> and yes, the rooster is so loud. So I'm not even gonna apologize. I'm on a home set. But I've never done meat chickens and I've watched plenty of videos. Um, I think I've learned a lot from watching. So now it's time to see if I can actually put what I have seen in the videos to work and process these chickens. And processing it is, I think, I think we have about um, 25, 30 uh, meat chickens. And y'all, I don't know, this is gonna be an adventure today. Yeah, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous, y'all. So anyway, I will see y'all in just a few minutes. And remember, like the video. Dirk, shut up. Good afternoon, everybody. We are about to get started. They haven't eaten yet. These are our meat birds. If you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications. They have not eaten anything since yesterday. So it's been over 12, 18 hours now. So they should be pretty much cleaned out. Um, this is what happens when they get too big, y'all. But, um, yeah, we're about to butcher these birds. I've never done this before in my life. And so here's the setup. Oh. Here's the setup. We have our hugging cones here, our buckets to catch any blood. Um, we have a scale set up right here to weigh them. We also have this plucker. And what will happen is we'll take the bird, put the bird upside down in here. The chest will be right here and it'll be out right there. They'll slice the neck and then we'll let it drain into the bucket. And then we'll, they don't have it set up yet. Over here, we'll have the pot of hot water, about 150 degrees it needs to be. And we will dip the bird in the hot water. We're well, actually we're just gonna put it down into the hot water two at a time and once you see the skin start to peel off of the feet, then you know your bird is ready for the plucker. Then you're gonna bring the chicken over here, bring your bird over here, put your bird in there one at a time. Some people do two at a time, so I don't know how they're gonna do. I don't know if they're gonna do one or two. But you put your bird in here. You also have to have your water set up to it because water has to be running inside of it in order for all the feathers to come off of the bird. Once that is done, and it's done in a flash, y'all. So much better than pulling by hand. It's done in a flash. Once you're done here, you're gonna take the bird out, and take the bird to the station. We gotta get another table put out here too. But the bird will go here for processing. So this is their last day. You want to switch it? No, I don't. Blow, get, get fit with blow. We have a. Let him come. Let it rest. Now you can go. Straight in. There you go. 
Live. Huh? You need to let them calm down a little bit. Them No, I'm not. Not a minute. This is it's 45 seconds to a minute. You're going to do it until the feathers get. I need to push them in. I need something to push them in. That glove? I'm going to stick it hot. Living Tradition Homestead that was playing in the background. My brother-in-law was watching as they were learning to do it. Also to sow the land um, and the fit farmer and also Essie. Thank you so much for helping me get through this. So you know, brother-in-law, I'm not getting your face. <laughs> so what he's doing now is he's grabbing at the neck to try to loosen it up. So when he goes to the other end and slice, he's able to just pull that piece right on out when he's gutting it. They cut the feet off over here. Throw them in there. Got it. Look at my son. Eventually, you're going to have to put that phone down and just like. Oh, I you. am. I didn't need you to say that, though, while I'm recording. I'm sorry. You said you was going to. Because I intend to. You said you was going to get to I wanted to get every step so people so we can try to move at a better pace, which I'm not the hold of your daddy, really, is the hold of. I'm just be honest with you. After we took the chickens out of the ice bath and let them dry out, um, the following day, my brother-in-law and mother-in-law, they bagged the chicken, dipped them in the hot water in the bag to seal it up. Hey, y'all. I am worn out. When I tell you I'm worn out, I'm worn out. Okay, so we just got done. Well, I got done before them. I left them with three chickens to do, and I went and took a shower and now I'm just gonna take a stroll before we leave because we gotta head back to Columbia. But it was fun. That was my first time doing meat chickens. 
I think it was my husband's first time too because he didn't do so well with the cutting at first. <laughs> the slicing on the neck. He was dang on near cutting the neck off. But um, he got the hang of it. But this is the end. And I want to say thank you so much for being here on Tommy Bites Homestead. If I can get it out on Tommy Bites Homestead where we do gardening. Remember that God loves you. I love you, but God loves you more. How about that? He created only one you. Be the best you that you could be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love with distance. Peace, love, and light. Thank you so much for joining Tommy Bites Homestead.